Okay, we have a 2012 Honda Pilot. Uh, the, the glove box will not open. No matter what you do, it just like this, you turn the key, and no matter what, it's like something's broke inside. So there's nothing on YouTube at all for the Pilot on how to open this particular lock. Not on a 2012 Honda Pilot. I put these shims in here to give me a little grabbing space right here for when I try to, well, see what you need to do is you need to remove this beige, gray, whatever color you have cover off of the glove box, not the actual glove box, but this cover. And you have to peel it off and it's super glued on or glued on somehow. And you gotta break the little glue marks, okay? So basically you're gonna be pulling, you're gonna pull just the outer edge the outer edge of the of this plastic and it's gonna go pop 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 I'll show you in one second you know, like this you have to pull the skin only not this black part not the black part if you pull the black part you're just trying to pull this whole thing away from the lock where it's locked on you just got to grab this top part and it might help if you start from the side and you just break it break it break it break it break it and then once you break it, you can see the latch right there. There's the latch. So we got a screwdriver, a big, big one if you can, and just push down hard. And the glove box will come out. All right, and then the glove box will slide out of there, you wiggle it. You take these two screws out, and the whole lock will fall out into your hand. And the glove box will not open it just makes that noise so whatever it pulls it's not pulling it this is in the unlock position that's the position you want it in on the back side i'm going to show you this little guy right there it's supposed to be going up and down when you put a latch it's not so there are two screws i'm showing you out because it's hard to see them when they're in that screw right there is an eight millimeter or five eighths screw or bolt right here. They're gonna be down, they go right through that hole, right through that hole, notice they're at an angle, kind of a 45 degree angle, so you have to put your screwdriver up in there, upside down, the boxes. So we need to take these two screws out pull the lock out and replace it because inside here is a broken piece. Screws out of the back of the glove box. Roll that puppy over and just wiggle this a little bit until you get that thing to come out of there. Okay, here's the lock. The problem was this was not pulling the, re the release in the back or something. Well, as it turns out, there is a broken part on the inside of here which is back inside there. There's a little plastic piece that's part of this lever that broke off. It is supposed to go through here and pull down on this piece right here, pulling the little release part right there. And it's not doing that. So you can either replace that or you can try to figure out some way to add a little arm to that to come through here and push it down. That is what I'm going to do. Okay, all right, here's what I'm gonna to try to do before I buy another one of these. I'm gonna, I made something out of a nail and I'll show you how I do it in a minute if it works. But I'm gonna to try to insert this nail into this little crack in there that's in this arm that broke. It just happens to be, it's not a crack, it's just a split in the way they made it. And I'm gonna put it in there. And I filed it down so it was kind of tight like that. Okay, so now the end of my nail is there. And if I can glue that in, it'll work. As long as my glue holds on. So I'm gonna epoxy it with something hard. Okay, so our goal is to make this piece right here out of something like that. It could be any sort of metal, but a nail is really, really strong. So don't use an aluminum metal, make sure you use a steel nail. And I'm gonna show you how I made this nail like this and if you notice obviously it's bent 
and I filed it with my grinder to get it flat to fit inside that crack on that latch. Okay. Okay, so I want to bend this over right there. So I crank it in a vise, and I bend it over. Not quite a 45, but close to it. Okay, so now that we got that little bend in there, we actually raise it up a little bit more, maybe about 3 sixteenths of an inch. The same angle. We bend it another time. Okay. Then we're going to take it out. And then I'm going to file it on here nice and flat. And I need to file it on the sides, not just anywhere, flat on both sides of the bend. Not like this, that won't work. It has to be like this so it could go into that slice in the plastic on inside this knob inside there. So I pinch it in here. Hold it nice and tight. Make sure you have your glasses on, your goggles. This is the one that we're going that we want to make. This one here obviously is a little long, so I'm going to trim it back a little bit. Okay? So I just take my little dikes, and it's easy to cut now because it's thin. Before it wasn't so easy. So now it's the right length. But I think I'm going to smooth it out a little bit further up. This one here has to go a lot further. Okay, so I just made this a little shorter and I ground it up far enough. Now the last thing we need to do is on the head, we have to take off half that head almost, okay? Because this top of the head here hits the plastic on the door when you lift the handle. So you have to file this off. So we're simply just gonna put it on the grinder right here and grind that part off. See that line right there that's going straight up and down? You take your nail that's nice and thin. You want that thin piece of metal to go in that gap, but it has to go through this hole. So put it in there. If you get it in right, it'll go in nice and snug like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some epoxy and I'm going to fill it in that gap. Actually, before I to really f put that nail in there, I'm going to put epoxy in there, insert that, then put a little more epoxy in there. And not too much, though, because we don't want to lock up the mechanism when it dries. Okay, right there where my thumb is right there, that's that little nail that I put in there. And when I pull up the lever, it's just sliding that bracket down nice. Okay, what we're going to do is, before we put the lock back in, we're going to put a little glue on those two little legs there. There's a few legs going down. I'm just putting a little dot on each one and a little bit on that lip. Press this thing back together, let it dry up, and then we'll remount the lock through here. After you clamp it, uh, just give it a few minutes, even though it's super glue. Just make sure it's nice and strong. Then we'll take the clamps off and uh, put the okay, lock Simply in. place this in that hole. Line them up with these two holes. You just kind of finagle it in here till they set inside the holes nice and clean. Flip the puppy over, and then you got these two Phillips head screws that will uh, hold it back in place. Absolutely perfect so okay. far. Before you put the glove box back in, you should take the opportunity to check your filter. There's two clips, one on each side. You squish it together, 
You slide it out and see what you see. Woohoo! Yeah, that should be cleaned. Now we simply reinstall the two bolts that hook up right here and right there. All right, and then to get this, it won't go in. You bend these two ends in. Okay, it goes around. Now it grabs. Now it shuts. Now it opens. Now it shuts. All done. All better. Just have to pop this little thing over the lock. All better.